happy sunday you guys and welcome to my channel and today's uh, video is about russian borscht and this one in particular is beets these are already pre-cooked i got this from costco it was on sale um, per bag is like six or seven small ones so i just sliced it in my mandolin and then for protein it's going to be rotisserie chicken this came out from the freezer and so right now i have the potatoes i have three oh my bad sorry <laughs> i have already been boiling for about half an hour already i cut up this small so it could be you know quicker on the cooking like this it's a really simple soup this is great for winter, obviously, but it's such a lovely sunny day over here in the Bay Area. Yep. So you could add bay leaves, salt and pepper, but my husband is just like the plain Jane. So that's how he is. Alright, peeps. So I'm waiting for these potatoes to be all the way cooked. It looks like it. So now I'm going to add beets. So, this is how it looks like after I added those shredded beets. I diced that shredded, my bad. You see? So, borscht can be either hot or cold, but obviously it's still winter, so this is the hot version. So, now I'm just going to add the shredded chicken. Alright, here I go. And that's it. This is really simple and easy. And then ingredients, you know, there's only three ingredients. Well, mine is all the spices. You see, it's so simple to make borscht. So, so simple. So once the chicken is like, you know, nice and hot and tender. And it's be ready to be eaten. So for every borscht, hot or cold, you always have to add a dollop of sour cream. That's a must. It's a mandatory. That's how the Russians have been eating like it for centuries and centuries. So it just makes it creamy and, and also it makes the soup, you know, um, cool down also. And I'll show you how it looks like. But yeah, it's a Russian soup, borscht. This is a hot version. Let's see. Okay, so I'll be right back. And for the last step, for the hot borscht, red beets borscht, is the sour cream. So you just put a dollop of it right in the middle to the soup bowl. And this is the best, I think. Out of all the sour creams I have, Daisy, pretty damn good. Okay, so next up is to add the borscht. And this is how it looks like after I added the borscht into the bowl. Nice and hot. So next step it is to mix up the sour cream with the borscht. And this is the end result of mixing the sour cream with the soup. Okay, thank you guys for watching the Watch AKG, the Quickie Eats, and see you guys next time. Peace.